you talked about going to the US and starting an international career. And thank you for being so honest about saying you didn't get a job there, which is, is a disappointment of sorts at that stage of life. But tell me, I mean, you know, how did you deal with that disappointment and how have you sort of come back to be where you are today? It was uh, quite a blow because, you know, you have that's something in your mind that this is where I'm going to be in so many years. I will be with the United Nations. Then that was a large enough organization. But uh, and I had done the internships. So I had I thought I had the credentials. But again, there's some circumstances outside your control. And when that's outside your control, you, you seek out the next best opportunity and you look within those opportunities of, of what are the attributes that you were actually focusing on. And you can find it. There are there are other fish to fry. There are other, other ponds to be in. So in my view, uh, that, that, that should have been sort of good, good stead saying that, okay, you go into banking and then started with consumer banking, did the rounds. And then finally, I found my level in international banking. And I've been doing that now for, oh goodness, it's almost 20 years. So within banking, you have correspondent banking, international banking, and that gave me that international dimension. Uh, and that was just by saying, okay, I'm in a space which can be otherwise very, very restrictive, but I still want the international exposure with the product set, with, with, the, with the client set that I would like to have. And I managed to find that and specialize on that. And then that one thing led to the other, and then I finally ended up uh, you know, getting a broader managerial role in terms of heading the operations set. 